Hello. Welcome to running a missed opportunities patient listing from a coverage assessment snapshot in CTWIS. There are several reports to choose from after you run a coverage assessment snapshot. In this video, we will review the missed opportunity patient listing report in Connecticut's Immunization Information System, IIS, or CTWIS. You can find additional information for creating a coverage assessment snapshot and running different types of reports along with training materials on the CTWIS training page. To navigate to these reports, first click on Reports from the left-hand navigation menu in CTWIS. In the Coverage Statistics section, locate the Coverage Assessment Snapshot Reports and click the Coverage Assessment Snapshot link to open the Report Parameters page. On the main Coverage Assessment Snapshot Reports page, Users have the option to view previous assessments or generate a new set of snapshot reports. Once the user creates a data snapshot, it is available on the main coverage assessment snapshot report screen, along with other previously created snapshots. To generate reports for a recently run or previously run coverage assessment snapshot, first, verify that the correct provider and clinic are displayed on the screen. Then find the snapshot that you are looking for. You can click on the Assessment Type drop-down menu to filter the list of snapshots, if needed. On-demand snapshots are retained in CTWIS for 90 days. Snapshots created by Connecticut DPH staff are saved for three years. Those indicated with a red X can be deleted at any time by users assigned the Manage Coverage Assessment Security function. Next, click the Reports drop-down menu to select a report type to generate. You have multiple reports to choose from. Options include Coverage Assessment Excel Format Coverage Assessment PDF Format Coverage Assessment Comparison PDF Format Not Up-to-Date Missing Immunizations Patient Listing Missed Opportunities Patient Listing Invalid Dose Patient Listing and Patient Roster Report For this video, we will be reviewing the Missed Opportunities Patient Listing. Once you have completed your selections, click on the report name to generate. The Missed Opportunities Patient Listing Report provides details on the patients who received a vaccine during their last immunization visit, but did not receive all the vaccines they were eligible to receive. For example, at their last visit, a child got their Hib vaccination, but the parents refused the DTaP vaccination. Upon selection, the Report Options screen will display. You can unselect a checkbox to exclude patients missing the vaccine series or antigen from the report. As of date, age range, age range by date of birth, and compliance by age are read-only and cannot be edited. Then, select an output type. PDF is the best option for printing. The Excel worksheet allows the user to sort the results as needed. When selections are complete, click Run Report. The results will be presented in the format selected. Section 1 provides a summary of total patients assessed for each series or antigen. Section 2 displays a patient summary listing with patient name, patient ID, date of birth, date of last immunization visit, missing vaccines from last immunization visit, missing reasons, last immunization clinic, valid vaccines at last visit, and invalid vaccines at last visit. The Missed Opportunities Patient Listing Report can be used to identify and recall patients in the selected cohort who were considered not up to date at their last immunization visit, but did not receive one or more doses for which they were eligible. Some important notes regarding the Missed Opportunities Patient Listing. Report data can be utilized in staff training and quality improvement activities to reduce the number of missed opportunities. Look for a cluster of missed opportunities within the same time frame to identify potential reasons. Some reasons may include onboarding a new staff member to your clinic, or the clinic may have implemented a new clinic process during this time, or there may have been an inventory shortfall. Missed opportunities can be used for staff training purposes and to develop standing orders to ensure that all patients presenting for immunizations receive all vaccines recommended at the time of service. You can use this report to identify recurring themes. If your staff need training on how to present vaccinations and communicate effectively to maintain high vaccination rates, there are excellent resources available on the CDC website. 
For more information on run-in coverage reports in CTWIS, please refer to the CTWIS training page. Thanks for watching.